So my son was catching a 33-inch uh, pike up the Lake of the Woods, and it was fighting really good. And it almost hit my camera there. I had to dodge it out of the way. And uh, so it comes in, and it, you know, it's been fighting for a while. It takes a little break and zip right up in the hole goes. Good thing we had that bevel bandit there. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the bevel bandit with the hand operation. It has longer blades so that it can catch more water because it's going slower. You're going by hand. You need that upper lift on it. Um, I have the extension on here right now. It's from here to here so I don't have to be on my knees. Um, the ice is about three feet thick. So again, you don't need to test it out of the water. You just you find the bottom. We'll give it 15 revolutions. You just go slow. You'll feel them kick out and let it come up. Now that's 15. And you can check your bevel. And I got a bevel already. That's going to be good enough to keep your line safe and uh, it will help uh, the fish come into the funnel into the hole. We'll do it another 15 seconds. Just start it slow. Okay. You see that's a pretty good size be bevel by now, I'm sure. I'm going to do it for 30 seconds now, show you it's not that hard. This is a lot easier than doing a hand crank auger. You might want to pull up a little bit and you get that top corner. You can slow down so you smooth it out a little bit. So let's check it and see what we got now. That's a total of a minute. We'll do a stick rule measurement. You can see the, the edge. I'm showing you where the hole edge is right now. Now we'll try to see where that stopped. So about right there, I'm guessing you got about two and a half, three inches. So you're almost 16 inch bottom there. Now if you are going after big pike, and you know you're a lake of the woods or something like that and uh, you got a couple of holes out for yourself you can make that even bigger it doesn't cut off as much as it did at the first part you know but if you got the energy you can do it again find that bottom and just let it kick out and let her come up Sometimes I like to turn so I get a different cut. Well, I lost count. I think that's around 30. We'll pull up and get that upper part of the bevel a little bit. And let her just do it gently and let her smooth out. We'll take one more measurement. about right there that 
If I'm, yeah, that's about four inches. So that's an 18 inch hole. At the bottom that is, of course. That's just awesome if you ask me.